Hi, I'm Kim Skinner, owner and CEO of StampingImperfection.com. I'm here because I wanted to show you some of the things I've been making with my, one of my new toys, my Biggs Top Note die. And when you cut this out, you'll get a shape that looks like this. So you get one, this is a Biggs die, so you get a big actual, like here's my hand, you, you get a good size tag. And you've probably seen these all around. People are making all kinds of things with these, so I had to play with it today. I've been playing with it for quite a while. And you'll notice that it comes with, it comes, it gives you these little stitch marks, which I think is really pretty. I put the score line and that doesn't come in there. But I usually cut two at a time, and I've been doing a lot of experimenting with it. So I have this little Santa Claus one. I made in my last newsletter, I made a Christmas bag that actually matches this. This would be really cute. And again, I'm, I'm, you could use this for candy. You could use it for um, gift tags. Uh, here's another one I made. This is um, one of these. And I scored it on each side of the um, center notch there and it made a little tag like this and I could use this for a gift tag holder so I really like that. I also, you've, this is how I always see them. This is one just scored down the center. I just scored that down, or actually no I didn't. I, um, I'll show you how I did this fold actually. Um, I embossed it with my Northern Flurry, put a little sentiment on, and using the cello bags that we're selling, you can put some candy in them and use it as a favorite bag. Um, here's another one I made, again with the same cut, which I will show you how to do. I'm going to use this as a little Christmas tag or a Christmas card. I just embellished it the way that I wanted. This is from the Labels collection and the Snow Much Fun set. And the letters are from Sassy Salutations. Okay, that's also from Sassy Salutations. And you can see I'm using punches. On this one I used um, a couple of punches. I used my scallop edge punch. I used my scallop square. I used one of my one inch squares. So there are so, so, so many different things you can do with these. So what I wanted to show you today, I wanted to show you two things. I want to show you how I made this one. And I also wanted to show you how to get these folds like how to get these folds out of here. All you're going to do to get the folds, you're going to take your top note die, you're going to take paper in whatever color you want it, score it down the center, and then when you lay it down, you can see the edge right here. You make sure you never push down in there. The cutting pieces are in there, and if you um, put pressure on there, you could actually get cut. Um, so you want to be careful not to push down on this, but you notice that I'm going to position this so that the folded side, that's the folded side of the card, the folded side of the card doesn't quite cover the edge of the cutting part, so that when I cut it, this little top notch won't come out. When I cut it, it's going to look like this. I'll send it through my Big Shot, and I'm going to get something that looks like this, and I, it's going to already be folded in half and use a bone folder. I didn't use a bone folder on this and you can see it's not um, it's not very straight but it gives you just these really great little shaped cards and you could put again this is a perfect size for a gift card so that's a, another idea that you can use with that. So the one I want to show you today is this one. I really like the not quite navy paper so I wanted to show you this one is quick and simple and you can make it in just a few minutes. Here is what you need to make this one. <clears throat> okay, you're going to need two of these top notes cut out in not quite navy. Then you're going to use your simply scored and you're going to score them three and a half inches, three and a half inches down. You're going to score them all the way across. Okay, then you're going to fold them over and use your bone folder. And there's an there's an upside and a downside. Like the upside, you can tell which side that the stitching lines come out the best on, you want that part on the outside. So you're going to fold these in. This one looks good on both sides. So you're going to fold them in. And if you want to, um, just to make it a little easier, you can just snip off this little notch like that on both sides if you want to. You don't have to do that. It depends on how it goes together. Okay, so that's scored at three and a half um, from one side. So now I have these two pieces, and they're going to go together like this. So of course I'm going to use the, um, I call it double-sided tape. I think it's called sticky strip. 
It's looking a little like I might need some more here. And you're just going to put it on the inside of one. I put two small strips just on the inside. Once you get the tape removed, you're going to take the tags and just put them together like this. Okay, you don't have to be too fussy about it. You're going to have that. And then we're just going to decorate the front. Now what I've done is I've used my one and a quarter inch scallop to cut out a scallop circle. And I'm just going to use some um, snail right on the sides. I'm going to put the snail on the sides because I'm going to punch out the center. Okay, so I'm just attaching that. Then I'm going to take my three quarter inch circle punch. This is my three quarter inch circle punch. And I'm going to hold the notches together. This will actually let me punch through all three layers of this, believe it or not. I'm going to slide it in here and I'm hope hopefully centering it. If not, I'm going to cover it up with ribbon anyway. So I'm going to punch that out. Oops, I didn't center that well at all. Sometimes I it's a hit, sometimes not so much. Okay, now I'm just going to make the little tag to decorate it right there. And I'm going to use this. I bought this as a single when the single stamps went on sale. This is the um, Tags Till Christmas Pinecone label, and I kind of um, left it a little colored in there so you could see it. So that's one of the single stamps that they had on sale. And I actually used... Um, when I was coloring this, I used my markers. I just colored in some the pine cone in the tree limb. I colored brown. Then I used actually this is um, chocolate chip. Then I used always artichoke. I'm always using always artichoke for the leaves. And this doesn't have to be too perfect. I used real red for the um, to and from. And then I used, um, I believe I used Knight of Navy for the edge of this because I wanted to make sure it stood out. So I'm just going to color in the edge all around. I'm trying to just cover everything. I'm not trying to get it to be perfect. I'm, I know I'm being messy, but it won't matter. So then I'm just going to huff on this. And I'm going to stamp it just down, straight back up, and you get a nice little image there. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to let this dry for a minute because I find that when I put it in the punch it's very easy to smear. So I'm going to let this dry for just a minute. You're going to use your decorative label punch. I love using my punches. I love that they make stamps and punches that go together and I don't have to do all the fussy cutting around the edges. So I'm just going to punch that out. And I find the punches in between the punches and the big shot I feel like those are the tools I use the most. I put two Stampin' Dimensionals on here. Love the Stampin' Dimensionals. Line that up in the center of the front. That hole is really off center. That's okay. I'm going to put a really pretty piece of ribbon. Now, <clears throat> my mother gave me a huge box of ribbon when she moved from one house to another. I am doing my best to use all that ribbon up, but I'm telling you, she bought a lot of ribbon. So when it's all done, you have a, a gift holder for a gift card, or you have a candy holder for your Christmas table. Um, you could even actually hang this on the tree with uh, money in it or whatever. You could put a little pocket on the inside, but it's very quick and simple. You saw how quickly I made that. Very easy. Lots of different options of things you can do here. Little fancy folds you can make with these. Little gift cards. So there are all kinds of things that you can do with these. Decorate them any way you like and um, make bags to match. They'd be perfect attached to bags as well.
or sign up for my mailing list, you'll get three exclusive videos with techniques that I made just for my mailing list subscribers. You'll also get a newsletter every month with the two or three project ideas with the full instructions, and those are projects exclusive to my mailing list subscribers. Thanks for watching.